YouTube, what's going on? It's your guy, Kent Hollywood Matzinger, and we are back at it. Today's video, we got an unboxing and unbagging. We got some Marvel Legends. We got some G.I. Joe Classified. Uh, this is my first ever Dork Side Toys order. Uh, definitely come check it out. We also got a Hasbro Pulse order and a Target pickup. So this is going to be a mail call, a uh, little Target pickup video. If you're finding the channel for the first time, go ahead and jump into the Ken Pool Live. Uh, we have a lot of fun here on YouTube, also over on Instagram at Kent Pool Live. G.I. Joe's, Marvel Legends, toy hunts, all kinds of fun things. So uh, definitely jump in, but uh, come on back. We'll get this bag out of here. We'll get these boxes open and uh, let's see what we got inside. All right, welcome back. And uh, the mysteries soon to be solved. Uh, probably the easy one would be our Target bag. So we will start with that. And uh, let's see what we got inside. What's in the bag? Today. All right, we got uh, Crow from Eternals. These are starting to uh, hit stores, mostly uh, Target, I've noticed in my area, but uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you are finding these anywhere else besides Target stores. Uh, real strange, everything going on with the world, uh, movies and all that kind of stuff, but uh, the figures finally Finally making it to the shelf. Uh, hopefully the movie will be cool, but uh, stay tuned. We'll be uh, hunting down the rest of the figures. But uh, yeah, this guy is pretty big, pretty crazy. A uh, little deluxe figure for you. There is the back of the box if you want to read about the character. But, uh, yeah, he's gone, like, all Independence Day aliens on us. And a uh, pretty cool package. So, I uh, just found that randomly at Target. Uh, there was, like, nothing else in the store. <laughs> and I just happened to scoop that up. So, definitely let me know in the comments if you are after those movie figures. Or if this is an easy pass for you. So next up, I figured we'd go with uh, the Hasbro Pulse box. We've done uh, a few orders with them in uh, in the past. Just a, just a couple with Hasbro Pulse. And uh, you can see the G.I. Joe logo. And sure enough, we have a Cobra Island exclusive. Uh, these guys were on the uh, Pulse, so uh, definitely scooped one up. There is our Cobra Trooper. Uh, yeah, Target, Hasbro Pulse, that is the place to get the Troopers. Uh, if you haven't seen the G.I. Joe collection video, go check that out. But uh, definitely have quite a few Troopers don't know if we'll get any more releases on the Troopers. I imagine we'll get uh, some different variants and different releases with the G.I. Joe Classified series. But uh, don't know if we'll see this exact figure in Target on Hasbro Pulse again. I think they might be done. But again, not to say we won't get... Uh, a very similar figure with uh, maybe some different uh, paint schemes and uh, I don't know Hasbro they repaint stuff they uh, add 
parts, just like uh, we got the infantry with uh, less gear. Maybe we'll get another trooper and uh, hopefully we get those uh, alley vipers one of these days. That would be great. They keep uh, teasing them like on the back of the box, but we haven't got them yet. So yeah, Hasbro Pulse, Cobra Trooper. Let me know uh, what you are looking for with the G.I. Joe. Last box. This is Dorkside Collectibles. Uh, I always see some pretty good stuff about them online. So I decided to uh, pull the trigger and do an order with, uh, with the Dorkside. And uh, pretty excited for some reason. I uh, missed this pre-order when it went up on Hasbro Pulse. So I've been just kind of keeping a lookout for maybe uh, who's going to get the figure first. And from what I could see, Dorkside had it available first. So I decided to go ahead and order it. And we're going to pull back the paper we get uh, this out of there. You don't need to see any of that except here we'll do a little dork side there. Little dork side. And yes, look at this Marvel Legend on the card. Yeah, that looks awesome. Tigra, Feline, Fury, two head sculpts, got the open hands, got the closed fists. Uh, what an awesome design, just a different character for uh, the old Marvel Legends shelf. There's a little bit of uh, the readout, the bio. Uh, no other figures shown, which uh, I wonder if that's going to be a trend with these different uh, vintage figures. If they're just going to just throw them in the case and not worry about showing other or future releases. I could definitely see that being a thing. Uh, Lady Loki we got coming up. Uh, the like old man Loki and some of the different vintage cards. I could see it just being kind of the one shot and here's your character in the back, but uh, maybe it just will differ whether they consider it a wave or if they're just kind of putting the figure out there. Our next opportunity to see will be with uh, the Hercules release. I think that's uh, the next kind of vintage card. So we'll have to wait and see if uh, anything's on the back with uh, the old Hercules. But uh, let me know in the comments what is your favorite uh, vintage card Marvel Legends figure. Do you got this Tigra on pre-order? Have you already got yours? Uh, yes, just an awesome figure. What do you say we uh, open these up and we'll take a closer look? Cobra Trooper, Tigra, and Crow. Uh, I got Crow kind of leaning right now. I haven't quite figured out uh, his weight, but uh, look at all these additional parts. I'm sure as soon as we maybe plug some of these in, it'll kind of help with uh, how he is standing. But uh, you can see he's a decent height deluxe figure, if you would. And uh, you can see definitely uh, some interesting paint and where you can plug in the uh, different parts. Like I said, once we get maybe some of those parts in there, it'll be a little easier to uh, stand up. Uh, I could see maybe a 
big old movie carnage maybe on that similar body let me know in the comments uh would you uh definitely be pumped for a movie carnage look at like all these pieces and stuff so they could do some wicked things and maybe change up the hands so they could be weapons yeah that'd be cool there is tigra very cool uh the tail it'll like you can move it around but it definitely it's in place you're not gonna be able to like bend it or anything uh is she gonna stand up for me nope nope not gonna do it i see how it is nobody only the cobra trooper wants to stand up for me today there we go maybe for a second and then this other head sculpt how sweet is that uh all that hair so it was hard to just kind of stand it up out of the box but definitely uh fierce ready to attack and of course our cobra trooper he's got all of his gear on and everything uh i'm sure we've done enough with the cobra trooper in the past but if you want to see more uh go check out the gi joe classified uh cobra island videos definitely a lot of good stuff but we're gonna plug in some parts and uh see what we can do with these figures all right so adding uh crow's parts I uh, don't know that it made it any easier to stand, but uh, pretty cool just the uh, how uh, how they put those together. Uh, definitely different compared to any of our other MCU Marvel Legends. Uh, you just pop off the uh, hands and then you can put on all that craziness. Uh, yeah. Definitely uh, looking forward to see if those uh, just do anything or you just kind of use them to attack. We got him going after our Cobra Trooper. Guy's like, man, I don't get paid enough to uh, deal with stuff like this. And then uh, we have our Tigra up top ready to sprawl down and uh, I don't know, maybe save the day but uh definitely let me know in the comments what do you think of these figures hopefully you enjoyed our mail call definitely excited what a great delivery from hasbro pulse great delivery from dork side toys i know i'll definitely keep an eye out Dorkside Toys Instagram and website because uh, they made it super easy to get this figure and add her to the collection. And uh, again, I'm not sure where else she's dropping already. So if you've seen her at uh, different online retailers or in store, definitely let me know in the comments. And are you looking for the Eternals? Definitely stay tuned. We're going to be hunting for more Eternals here, Marvel Legends. And uh, fingers crossed that we're going to get a great movie out of it. Uh, Shang-Chi definitely saw those toys pick up when uh, <laughs> the movie came out. So maybe we'll see the same. I don't know. Only time will tell. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. If you haven't already, jump into the Ken Pool Live. We're uh, definitely having fun here on YouTube. Also over on Instagram at Kent Pool Live. Until next time, always be hunting. Have fun collecting.